tribute to the guy Banjo Jim. Uh, his name is Banjo Jim Croce. He was a great banjo player. He played on the Shell Shock's first record. I used to play at this club down in the village called the Speakeasy, and Jimmy was there. He was playing his banjo, and he was the sound man for a while. And we just used to hang out, drink beer, and talk about life and women and broken hearts and, you know, all that kind of stuff. He was just a really, really inspirational guy. He lit up a room wherever he was. Um, I was lucky enough to be with him for six years, and then he was killed in an accident. And she opened this place in honor of Jimmy, and, um, you know, to just kind of conjure up that kind of laid back, everybody's welcome kind of vibe, and I think she's done it, you know? And so that's the kind of place it is. Banjo Jim's is a bar and music venue located in the East Village on the corner of 9th Street and Avenue C. This is a place you can come on a Saturday night and just hang out with people who are relatively normal or like like-minded. If you like good music, chill vibes, look at these guys, they're just having a good time. Just having a good time, just hanging out. It's a little more laid back and a little more homey here, if that's a real word. The first week I had moved to New York, I, I came in here uh, a little bit late, like maybe around 3.30 or 4 o'clock, and uh, the room was like just full, full to the gills of, of performers. And Rick Snyder, the host at the time, turns around and looks at me and he goes, you got to wake up pretty early in the morning to play at Banjo Gyms. And I was like, all right, I've got to come here as much as possible. You know. Nestled between two community gardens, Tompkins Square Park, and Section 8 housing to the east, this area has seen many changes. When I was in high school, uh, this neighborhood was really, um, I didn't know about Banjo Gyms then, but this neighborhood was a, a, a seriously different place. Man. But I spent a lot of time in this neighborhood when I, when it was a lot seedier, I kind of missed that a little bit. It was, wasn't so uptight. You could do stuff like what we're trying to do here more easily than you could park your car around here. You might not have any tires left when you got back to it, but at least you could find a space. It's something, it's just amazing this neighborhood. You can see in the corner, it's not our corner, remember, we're just 9th and C, but 8th and C, one thing that's great is we have a supermarket here. You couldn't get a supermarket east of Avenue A, no banks and no ATMs. The cabs, the cabs wouldn't, wouldn't oh, the cabs wouldn't come here, there's one. It's absolutely inevitable. Every single bar that exists in Manhattan has somebody that's complaining. But beyond neighborhood complaints, some believe small businesses need to be wary of the city government. You're sitting here like as an easy target when the city needs money. And there's nothing you can do about it as a small business owner. You have to pay or they shut you down. Banjo Gyms opened its doors for the first time over four years ago, but only recently have they felt the effects of the economy. We didn't seem to be hit until just the last year. You know, we've been feeling it this last year, and why, why that was kind of a delayed effect for some reason, I'm not sure exactly. But um, the music has been just astounding to me. How, how can I say it best? You know, I, I never expected to have um, such amazing things happen here. A back porch kind of feeling. If people still know what back porches are. The rising down of the river. You must have known what was going.